let's say that we're going to add the numbers 482, that's the first number, and we're going to add to it 107. All right, so just like we always do, we start in the right-hand column. Seven going up two more is eight, nine. So seven plus two is nine. Nine goes in the first position right there. Then we have eight plus zero means nothing really changes. It stays in eight. And then we have four going up one more means five. So we have the uh, answer of 589. Now in this case, we didn't have to carry because none of these numbers, we added them up, none of them uh, were larger than 10, 10 or larger. So we just wrote the number down. Now as we get further along, you have to carry a digit. We'll do it the same way we've been doing it in the past. All right, let's go off to our next problem. Let's take a look at 663 and we'll add to that 125. Okay, we start over in the right column. We start with five, we go up three more. That's six, seven, eight. So eight goes in this column right here. And then we start with six here, we go up two more, seven, eight. So eight goes in this column right here. And then six plus one more is seven. And so the answer is 788. Again, we didn't have to carry anything because we didn't have you know anything larger than 10 down here. Now let's take a look at problem number three. Let's say we have 337 and we'll add to that 224. All right, so here we have uh, seven, we're going up four more. That's eight, nine, 10, 11. So here we have an 11. We can't write a two digit number down in a single column. So what we've done in the past is we put a one here and we carry the one to the next column. That's our 11. So here you have three, then we have four, five, then we have six. So we have six in this column right here. And then we have two, three going up two more is four, five. So we have 561, that's 561. The other thing I'll say is we kind of get going with these problems is I always want you to keep in the back of your mind the complements, the complementary numbers I taught you in the past. If you see a pair of complementary numbers that add to make 10, complementary numbers are numbers that add to make 10, like five and five are complementary because they add to make 10. Uh, one and nine are complementary, they add to make 10, those kinds of numbers. Then uh, we always wanna look for those because they can help us when we're adding to make it just a little bit faster. So when we see a complementary pair, I'm gonna point it out to you every single time. All right, so here we have the next problem. Let's take a look at problem number four. Let's say we have 407 and we'll add to that 313. Here we have a plus sign here. All right, so here's our first complementary pair. We have seven and three. So I want you to remember that makes 10. You'll remember them after a while, right? Five and five make 10. Six plus four makes 10. Seven plus three, this one makes 10. Eight plus two makes 10. And nine plus one makes 10. There's not that many of them, but they help us quite a bit. We know that seven uh, plus three more, eight, nine, 10, of course makes 10. So we put a zero here and we carry the one to the next column. Now we have one plus one, zero does nothing. One plus one is two, so we put the two here, and then four going up three, five, six, seven. And so the answer you get is 720. All right, we are cruising right along. Problem number five, let's see what we have. Let's say we have 497, and we'll add to that 111. Seven going up one more is eight. Nine going up one more is 10, but we can't write 10 there because it's two digits. So we put a zero here and we'll carry the one to the next column. Here we have four, five, six. So four plus uh, two there is six. So you have an answer of 608, 608. All right, next problem. Let's say we have uh, 379 and we'll add to that 483. So here in the right hand column, we have nine plus three more, so we'll go up 10, 11, 12. 12 is a two digit number, so we can't write it down here in the one column. We put the two, we carry a one uh, to the next column over like this. Uh, now we have, uh, there's a, a few different ways to add this, but the, one, the way that jumps out at me is if I, in my mind, I know that seven plus one is eight, and then I have eight here plus eight more, but I know for multiplication that eight times two is 16. So I don't have to use my fingers because I know that eight times two is 16, and so the answer is 16. But if you forget that, you can just start counting. Uh, eight going up, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the eight plus seven is the 15, one more is 16. So 16 is a two digit number, we'll put a six, carry a one. 
Same kind of thing here. You can tap and add 4 plus 3 plus 1, but I know that 3 plus 1 is 4, and I know that 4 plus 4 is 8. So you can count it out, but I, I know that this 4 plus this 4 is 8 because I remember that, and so the answer is 862. But if you don't see that, if you don't remember that, then you just use your fingers or you tap, just like I'm teaching you. All right, let's take a look. We're over halfway done at problem number 7. Let's say, what if we have 317, and we'll add to that 226. All right, we have seven, let's go up six more. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13. So we put a, uh, 13 is two digits, so we can't really put that there. We put a three, carry a one, that's how we write our 13. Then we have two, then three, then four, we have a four in this column, and then three plus two is five. If you forget, just go up from three, four, five. And so you have a five right here, and that's 543. All right, next problem. Let's say we have 199, and we'll add to that 188. All right, now this is not a complement, but nine plus eight, you should know it fast. Nine plus anything is actually easy. Nine plus eight is 17. How do I know that? Because if it were 10 plus eight, it would have to be 18, and I know those really well. 10 plus eight is 18, but it's not 10 plus eight, it's nine plus eight, so it has to be 17. So let's put a 17 here, seven carry the one. Now this, the easiest way to, to add these is I know that nine and one make 10, that's a complement. Remember, here's 10 when you add them. And 10 plus eight is 18, so I don't have to tap. I mean, you can if you want to, but I have the 10 here plus the eight, that's 18, so put an eight, carry a one. And then one, two, three, I have three here for the answer, final answer of 387. All right, only two more problems. Let's say we have 709, and I'm going to add to that 146. I'll add to that 146. All right, again, 9 plus 6. What is it? Quick, quick. 9 plus 6, it's 15. It has to be, because if it were 10 plus 6, it would be 16. But it's not. It's 9 plus 6, so it has to be uh, 15. 15 is a two-digit number, so we put a 5, and we carry a 1 here. 4 plus 1 is 5, the 0 does nothing, so a 5 goes here. And then 7 plus 1 more is 8. So the answer is 855. All right, here's our last question. What if we have 822, and we'll add to that 298. Let's add these together. So we go off in the right-hand column, we have 8 plus 2. That should jump out at you, because 8 and 2 are complements. Just like nine plus one is 10, we know that. Eight plus two is 10. You just start to remember those after a while. So eight plus two is 10. Uh, so we can't write a 10 down there. We put a zero and we carry a one. Now you can do this any way you want, but I remember that I have nine and one. That makes 10, that's a compliment. Nine plus one is 10, plus the two more is 12. If you don't like it, just start with nine and go 10, 11, 12. Okay, same way. You can do it any way you want. I'm just giving you alternatives. So the 12, we have a one and a two, that's for 12. Then we look at the eight and the two, that's a complement. We know it makes 10, and then we have one more, that's 11. So we have now, in our leftmost column, we have two digits and 11, and we don't have any other columns to carry to, so we just write both numbers down. It's 1,120, this is the final answer. All right, so here we have done uh, a, a good uh, foundation of adding three-digit numbers. Notice some of the problems, we had to carry a one to the next column, and sometimes we didn't. And all the problems will be a little bit different, but this process, the way that we're doing it, is going to be the same way, no matter if it's a three-digit number, or a four-digit number, or a seven-digit number, or a ten-digit number, it's all done the same way. So we're just going to get more practice. I'd like you to solve all of these yourself. When you feel like you're getting the right answers, follow me on to part two. We'll get a little bit more practice with adding three-digit numbers. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.